KLD intake. And that's actually where it breathes through when the valve is closed. That opens up, valve opens and breathes through the whole thing. Uh, one goes to one side, one goes to the other. It goes to the top box over here and there's another box over here. And that connects three runners, three runners. And your other VRIS is right there. And that connects the end so that it can pull air. For this one it can pull from this side and from this side when that valve opens. Now the ZE intake is different. As you can see, there's nothing blocking it. It's a straight shot and you, if you shine a light in there you can see almost all the way to the other side. Actually you can see the other side. And there, the bottom one you can't see just because it goes down and out of the way. And you got the VRIS valve right here that closes off and opens up this area. And the other one works just like the DE for this tube here, but the tube is a different shape. It's actually, um, I think, a smaller diameter. It feels smaller. Anyway, this thing versus this end tube right here. Anyway, so that's how that works. With the valves that open up and everything. Okay, so here's the KLZE curved neck. Right next to it is the straight neck. You can see there's more room for brake master, cylinder, reservoir, and uh, brake booster and all that in the smaller cars. Like Escorts and MX-3s. Oh, uh, slip down the intake there. Can't see much, but uh, yeah, can't see as well down there as you can here where you go straight through with the, with the KLZE straight neck. And the VRIS valve, I believe, goes right there. The EGR is down there on this intake, it's a little different. And I'm not sure what that that has something to do with the VRIS. Here's where the other valve is supposed to go. This one's blocked off. It's set up for a turbo. We got it for free, so that was a really nice guy. Uh, let's see. Yep, you've already seen the uh, KLZ straight neck earlier. So those are those two. Oh yeah. I'll show you underneath. There's the runners. Okay, and here is the KLG4 intake. You got the one valve there, the other one here, and again, looks like a different shape between here the, with the DE, the ZE, the curved neck. They all look different, uh, different shape. They're all tuned, and they work differently. But this is this one looks definitely more oh, different than the other two. It's another rounded intake like the uh, KLZ curve neck has. Yeah, and you cannot see through. This one's filthy. I pulled it at the junkyard. <sighs> I took the fuel rails off because uh, supposedly they they flow better because the way they're they're drilled, they're newer. And here you can see underneath the oval port instead of square so this one's supposed to be better than the DE and it's supposed to put the power in the middle of the rev range whereas the DE is low curve necks a little bit higher and the ZE is the, the highest. So this is what those two look like next to each other.